Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome to audiobooks and art. Um, obviously, you don't need to be reading an audio or listening to an audiobook for this, or even doing art. You could just come and do some regular reading sprints or just come hang out. Um, but I have some lovely ladies joining me tonight. It's also been so long since I did sprints on my channel, so I'm like super excited. Um, but, Summer, you want to? introduce yourself i mean most people should probably know all of you already but just in case you never know yeah i'm summer i'm from the channel seasons readings um tonight i'm actually gonna be like really doing some art on my ipad because i have some client work that i need to get done it should go by pretty quickly though um but it's a client that i really like to do stuff for so i'm excited to work on it and then i'm not gonna be listening to a book i'm actually I got inspired by Zoe to rewatch Bridgerton. <laughs> so I'm on episode two of season one and just loving it. I've watched like this show so many times, but I just never get sick of it. So yeah. Um, yeah. So you should grab some wine for that. Yes. Yes. I <laughs> should. <laughs> I love that. Um, so hello. If you don't know me, my name is Keisha. I'm from the channel A Book Like You. And um, I decided I didn't want to keep my book a secret anymore. So <laughs> I'm reading Dark Corners by Megan Golden. Um, so, yeah, well, I was bored with the secret. It's only fun for a little while. And then I'm like, no, I got to tell people. So that's what I'm reading. And I am like over a little over halfway. So I'm going to be listening to that tonight. And I'm also for my artsiness. I have this coloring book, The Modern cottage collection so i am going to be coloring this picture of tea so that's what i'll be doing <laughs> so cute hello everybody my name is gwen my channel is gwendolyn kensinger um tonight i'm gonna be listening to everyone who can forgive me is dead by jenny hollander um, I got it from Aardvark Book Club, and it's a thriller book about this tragedy that happened long ago, and now uh, there's going to be like a movie coming out about it, and it's kind of like triggering someone that went through that, and it seems like she knows more than she has let on, so there's some secrets and some lies, and yeah. I'm not very far into it. I just started it. So I'm on chapter three, page 20. And then for my art cozy hobby, I picked up this puzzle at Target today for $1. <laughs> I can't get over it, but I love plants and I thought it was so pretty. And it's actually like, Jesse was asking like the, she was like, well, what's the quality like, you know, and it's fine. I mean, it's like at the white back and it's not like thick or, you know, it's, but it's not like super thin um, and it's not like peeling all the pieces perfectly slot together. So it seems good quality. I can't believe I got it for a dollar. So I love a good deal, you know? Yeah. I was like, it's coming home. There was another one too. I should have got it, but I didn't really know how much it was because it doesn't have like a, you know how like Target will usually put like a price on it or something if it's in the bullseye playground. I didn't know if it was like, I mean, even if it was $5, it was worth it. But I was like, I don't know the quality. So let me, you know, and then I found out it was only a dollar. I was like, oh, but it's 500 <laughs> pieces. So. And it's from the dollar spot. Yeah. From the bullseye playground. Yeah. Wow. I need to go to Target because I love that. <laughs> I saw that on your uh, on my the Discord, yeah. Night Owls. yeah, it was so yeah. cute. Um, so yeah, I was really impressed. I love so that. That's that what I'm gonna hopefully work on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Man, Target Dollar Spot. Okay, that's where it's at. I like usually stuff like that is more than a dollar. So I don't know if it was actually a dollar or if she just gave it to me for a dollar like, because it didn't ring up like how I would okay. think it was, but it just said like Bullseye Playground or whatever, a dollar. I was like. Don't question it. Yes. <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh. Um, well, hi everyone. My name's Zoe. I am listening to the first book in the Bridgerton series because I'm re-obsessed with everything Bridgerton right now and thought I would give the book series a try. It's pretty fun. Um, I am surprise, surprise, working on a diamond painting. <laughs> I'm sure everyone is shocked. Um, I am working on, I don't know if you can see it well, this one. It's called Satura, and it's by um, Margaret Morales, I think. And she's beautiful, and I love her. So 
that's what I'll be working on. That's really pretty. I actually, oh, in pretty. Michael's, was about to get coasters. They were like plant coasters, diamond painting. And I was like, oh, I should get these. And then I found something else. So um, hi, everyone. My name's Gabby. If you're here, this is my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Um, and tonight, I don't know what I'll be listening to because Everan, me and Everan have beef right now, okay? He, Everan won't let me listen to anything until like April 17th. Like anything good, at least. So I found the 10th anniversary by James Patterson on Spotify. And I really actually enjoy this series. They're very, like, some of them are thick, but the chapters are like two pages. So even though it's like a hundred some chapters, they go by pretty fast. And it's just like a, it's actually considered a cozy mystery, but it's not that cozy. So I don't know why, but I have that. And then completely different vibe. Um, I have Bluebird, which is a historical fiction. Everand will actually let me listen to this one. So I don't know which one I want to listen to yet. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards this one because I just listened to The Nightingale and I've had this since we went on our Nashville trip. <laughs> so I really you need to read that. Historical fiction, do that. Yeah. You seem to be in that mood. I know. So I think that's what I'm going to listen to. And then I'm going to be doing a paint by number. And this is what it will look like at the end. Um what? For anybody who doesn't know, I love plants and cactuses, but my classroom is like very boho themed and it has a ton of these colors. So I'm going to try to, if it looks nice, hang it somewhere in there. If not, I'll be like, my students painted that for me. <laughs> um, but that's what I will be doing. So comment what you're going to be listening or reading to, or if you're going to be doing anything artsy, what will you be doing? Let us know. Um, Hello, I'll be listening to Big Little Lies in a Small Town and working on my cricket. Nice. I sometimes I hate working on the cricket because it's so intricate and you have to be really good at it. And I'm not good at it. <laughs> I get so frustrated. Hi, Jess. So excited for these tonight. My artsy project is painting my body with self tanner and doing my nails. <laughs> you do that, girl. I love um, you. I'll be reading Hopefully Finishing My Darling Girl by Jennifer Fan. Hello, I'll be finishing my chapter in Paul by N.T. Wright and the reading Donna Barbara. Nice. I'm going to attempt to paint a waterfall. Ooh, sounds interesting. I am like terrible at freehand painting. I'm not artsy at all. I can't draw. I was I will say if anybody does anything artsy, they should post a picture on Instagram and tag you, oh, Gabby, yeah, so that yeah. way you can reshare the stuff that people do. Everyone does. So, That's a good idea. Yeah, Gabby yeah, about books um, on Instagram, tag her, and then she'll repost all of their art. Yeah, so we can see what you did. That's a good idea, Gwen. Um, hi, Wendy. <laughs> that is excited. <laughs> I know I couldn't wait for these all day. I had an extremely long day at work and I just kept thinking about these. Why are all five of you so beautiful? Oh, stop. So I just woke up from a nap. I didn't even think I brushed my hair. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best night ever. Oh, Yvette, what are you reading? What are you doing? Oh, your comments are down there. I'll get there. Hello. <laughs> I freaking love audiobooks. I have such a hard time with listening to just audiobooks. I usually have to be listening and reading. Um, so this is going to really put a test to it, but I have bubbles, AKA champagne going to grill a steak at one point and painting my sister's birthday card. Very mm. crafty. Love that you're grilling a steak. Reading a dark and stormy murder. Woohoo, cozy. <laughs> <laughs> I was so bummed that there isn't an audiobook for wanton terror because I've been oh. loving that. And I love that series. I am reading A Long Time Coming. Oh, it's spicy. Keisha's like, Not no, Keisha thank Burke. you. <laughs> I have no art or audiobook tonight. Hey, that's fine. You're just here for the vibes, Wendy. <laughs> I'm also reading A Dark and Stormy Murder. Me and Wendy are budding reading The Cozies. I love that. 
I'm glad that you're not confused on what a cozy is. <laughs> you should really explain it. Took it. a minute. I had to <laughs> go in detail. But I like how when Jesse was saying something, you're like, don't confuse her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ruth, yeah. Ruth, yeah. Ruth, Ruth where is cozy? No, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I also have no art. I'm on vacation, but I got the best I got is slime. Hey, that's good. Where are you on vacation? I wish I was on vacation. Hello. How are you tonight? Hello, everyone. I am planning on finishing The Martian by Andy Weir. Nice. I've never read that one. I'm going to listen to Anne of Avalon. Avonlea. Avonlea. Yeah. I can't read. <laughs> we are cozy experts because of Keisha. Yes. I don't know. Expert is a little stretch, especially because <laughs> yeah. of Keisha. Come on now. <laughs> There's that banter. Here it comes. <laughs> You're here for that. I can't help it. I, I want to leave you two in a locked room and see who makes it. <laughs> who makes it out alive? <laughs> Or with her head still screwed on straight. Probably when I said something was a yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking back on. Like I think it was probably Monday night sprints, maybe. I'm not yeah. sure. I'm on vacation in Grand Rapids. Ooh, nice. I just got um my hiking boots in yesterday. Um, and if there's anything you should know about me, it's I can't make decisions. It's literally in my DNA. I just can't do it. So going on a trip to Washington, I'm like, well, I need hiking boots, but I don't want like brown ones. I want to look cute. So I got peach hiking boots, but then I was like, I'm not going to want to wear a boot the whole time. So let me buy a sneaker. So then I bought a sneaker. I'm like, what if I go near water though? Even though they're waterproof, now I need a sandal. So I literally bought three pairs of shoes for one trip, but you justified all those purchases. <laughs> yes. It was like, I need to get all three. Oh. We'll be ready for a class. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> yes. I don't even know if I'll be able to like listen because all I do all day is listen to people like talk to me and I just, it's been a long day. I'll be listening to Emma by Jane Austen read by the actress Emma Thompson. It's a great audio. I'm like, or I'm glad you're liking it. We are not experts. We are expertly trying to be good at cozies. <laughs> I feel like cozies are hard because like there are so many of them and like everybody has their little niche, like cozies that they like. Like oddly, mine is magical bookshops and Asian food. <laughs> and mine is like coastal beachy towns. Yeah. And yeah. mine Everybody's is bookish things. <laughs> <laughs> But there's all kind of the, there's food ones, there's hobby ones, yeah. there's yeah. ones that aren't necessarily like specific, like the made by Nita Pros or something like that. Yeah. So there's just all kind of different ones. So you have to find your niche. Yeah. I don't think I've ever read a cozy, like at all. So, no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think. I don't. You need to think. It's always that. a thriller, girly. Leave her alone. I, yeah. I need the, I need the rush. I know right. she needs some. She'll read a mystery thriller. Is there a <laughs> cozy though. I want to Maybe find it for me, Keisha. <laughs> I'm on it. What's the What's the tool used to put the gems on? The little painting pen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like a what a name would be for a cozy of diamond painting. Diamond painting. Death by diamonds. <laughs> diamond, yeah. <laughs> by diamonds. Yeah. Death. <laughs> Death by drill. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's good. The diamond drill. Drilled to death or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that all sounds naughty. I know. I was like, maybe I shouldn't say that because. <laughs> as soon as you said it, I was like, mm. yeah. <laughs> look at death by diamond. <laughs> Jesse will write it along with the Gordon Ramsay one. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm almost done with the rule book, and I'll just be reading No Crafts tonight, but Diamond Painting tomorrow. I'm working on one that's a cat, but it looks like Jack Sparrow. That's funny. I love that's that. Cute. Um, how are you liking the rule book? I did hear that it's not her best, um, but I still want to get to it. Oh, my God, my comment. 
Hi, Keely. So excited to join y'all tonight. My friend Megan can't make decisions either until you make one for her, then she disagrees with it, and then we don't That's do anything. <laughs> My dog went to the groomers and now has this. Oh my god, dog zoomies oh, are the best. <laughs> they are so funny. Should have bought Crocs. If you ain't crocking, you ain't rocking. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we are going to attempt beekeeping this year, and I just <gasps> learned that there are cozies on beekeeping. Oh, that would be fun. I'm so jealous. Death I want to do beekeeping. <laughs> That's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So now I'm going to be looking for those. Yeah. That all sounds naughty. <laughs> I have not read the rule book of any of you. Keisha, you probably don't plan on reading it, do you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you didn't. The cheat sheet. I didn't have the sequel to the cheat sheet, right? Yeah. See, I loved the cheat sheet, but I don't know if I'm going to read the next one. Yeah. I'll make it happen. Title suggestions. Oh. <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> Jesse, you're so funny. Oh boy. <laughs> the rule book is not my favorite pair. I just finished mm -hmm. just for the summer by Abby, and that's superior all time. The rule book is probably a four star. That's another one that I also want to get to. But I want to wait till I have more time. I loved it. Four star. The cheat sheet was better. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say that. Is Gordon Ramsay in the book? He's the one diamond painting. <laughs> He's the love of the love He's interest. He's the drilling. I love. Oh it. my gosh! <laughs> I love it. I'm trying to make that coin so I can support my three pups. Can't help them find out it's aren't catchy. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh. <clears throat> All right. Well, do you want to do a longer sprint and just go to the hour? That way we can really get some crafting done and some. Okay. I have two ambiances that we're going to go back and forth between. Oh, hi, Kaya. Oh. Um, <laughs> and um, the cat is laying on all my supplies. So. <laughs> I love a little cat hair in my paintings. <laughs> That's character. Um, so I have a cozy art studio, and then another one is like secret garden vibes. But we're gonna start off with the cozy art studio. Oh God, that's not what we're doing. So cute. All right. And then we will read till top of the hour.
Okay. Welcome back. Hi. How did everyone do? Good. Good. I got all of my client work done. It'll be backwards, but I'll show you. It's it's like two oh, like cans. Yeah, they're doing. It's for um these two girls that do like um markets and stuff so every time they get like a a vendor or something where they're gonna host a market there they have me like make a flyer for them so this one's for a hard cider place so okay yeah i finished all of that and now i'm working on um like a fun drawing for myself to go above the cats like water and food bowls behind me i think i'm gonna do like an illustration of them in like little chef's hats so it's oh like my they're gosh. gonna like a, like a little bakery cafe or something so oh, that's God. so cute i'm excited <laughs> thanks cute um i made it to chapter 46 so i'm almost well i'm not really almost done i guess i have like 130 ish pages left but um so it's going good and then i finished because i just wanted to do something simple so i finished my you can't really see it there you go I finished my coloring and now I'm going to play Dreamlight Valley while I listen to oh, this. That's a good idea. Nice. Yeah. That Love page that. turned out so cute. Yeah. Um, I did pretty good. <laughs> I was having a hard time doing both, to be completely honest. So I'd like focus on one and then I'd focus on the other one. So I didn't get too much read. Um, and I had to like reread a couple of paragraphs, but I got some puzzle pieces like sorted out and I've started building off of the um the outer bits so yeah yeah um mine is going well I finished a section of diamond painting and now I'm on to another one the last one I was doing was very confetti heavy so it's a lot of like changing the colors like yeah. a lot so I'm doing one that has less of that now and I'm <laughs> that's like what I need I want like yeah stuff down so um and i think i might stop listening to the bridgerton book i'm not like hating it but it's just i can't help but compare it to the, to the, the show. show and it's yeah. Just, yeah it's pretty different like i don't like how they portray the mother in the book like i really like the mom in the show and the mother in the book is like more like penelope's mom mrs featherington where she's just like yeah a little bit like know like a lot <laughs> so I'm like, hectic and judgy yeah and I'm like I don't like her like this um and everything is moving like really fast and one thing I love about the show is how slow burn it feels yeah um, even though it's like not it's like an eight episode series but it feels very slow burn mm -hmm. so yeah I think I might change it up because I'm not like I'm like it's fine but I'm kind of ready to change change it up so I might do I have a couple of like Sally Hepworth that I was looking at and then or the the heiress or the clinic I don't know you're muted Keisha sorry I'm glad you saw me go Sally. back to Sally what Sally books do you have <laughs> I have the good sister and the younger wife uh yeah the good sister <laughs> I oh, thought you would say that. that's what you needed to do. <laughs> I had a feeling <laughs> okay I'll do that <clears throat> you told me well that's good um I I didn't listen to much that I did go with Bluebird um, and I listened to two chapters of it, but then I got a phone call. Um, my boyfriend is away for work and I haven't been able to talk to him all day and he's hours behind. So he called and we were just chatting, um, but I got, it looks so bad because the paint's drying. Also, I'm not an artist, but like I did the sun good. or the moon. I, it's the sun. I don't know. And then, like, the stars are weird because they're white, so you can still see. Like, I have to wait till they dry and go over them, but I just started the um, the background now, so that's going to take a while. It looks good. Where did you get that from, by the way, the paint by numbers? Um, I got it in Michael's. Oh, it's so cute. I like that it's not too, like, overwhelming. Sometimes yeah. paint numbers are, like, intense. Yeah, they had a ton mm -hmm. of them there. They even had, like, small ones. They had bigger ones. They had more, like, intricate ones. And I was like, this looks like it's only, like, five colors. And actually, it's only eight colors. Oh, nice. Um, like, send you, like, in the oh, box. Like, all of you. So, um, yeah, I like it. I've never done one of these before. 
I like it. I'll try. It's turning out super cute. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know where I left off. Um, right here. Hi, Lara. Just joined and saw we're talking about the sexy hunk. <laughs> See how you do craze of all the sprants. We're just going to continuously bring back the Gordon Ramsay conversation. I like mm -hmm. completely missed that conversation or wasn't, I wasn't on. Same. I don't, that time. I don't so I'm like, what are we cooking? Lena was talking about how she loves Gordon Ramsay and she thinks he's like so hot. And then a bunch of people in the comments were like agreeing with her. And then Jesse oh. said that she was going to write a fanfic of oh, Gordon, Gordon Ramsay. Ramsay. Yeah. And she like, I forgot what the name was of the book. Does anyone remember? I forgot. It was so funny. Jesse, you'll have to like remind us in the comments. Yeah. But it was the My funniest gosh. title. And so that's that's the joke. Truthfully, I don't know Whenever if I ever mentioned. looked at Gordon Ramsay long enough to decide if he's hot off the grill oh, oh yeah hot, hot off, off the grill, grill. Mm -hmm. that's funny that is funny the yeah. fact that she remembers <laughs> what <laughs> she actually is writing it actually that's what she's she working on she actually is doing it oh my goodness <laughs> i've been listening to the berry pickers but i think i want to finish black cake tonight i've never heard of either of those but i hope you enjoy whatever one you pick up Hello. Gordon Ramsay lover in here. <laughs> Not feeling well, so I'm turning in early. Ah, oh, well, mm. good night, Susan. You're probably gone already. I hope you feel better. I've been looking forward to this all day. See you at the next sprint. Yes, we will have to do this again. Mm -hmm. um, even if it's something different. Hello, Katie. I'm on page 86 out of 187 of Ghost Morton, a ghost cozy murder mystery series. Interesting. You're always reading them cozies. <laughs> Hi, Hannah. I'm going to be reading Listening to Something Wilder by Christina Lauren. I am absolutely loving it. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I haven't read that one by them. It's cute. I really enjoyed that one. It was super cute. Mm -hmm. I think I gave I it like four stars. Still listening to City of Bones and submitted a few books for e-reader clear out readathon. Nice. I need to be better at using my um, Kindle. I actually just made I moved things on my Amazon wish list of books that like I just keep every book that I ever want to get in there or like that I want to read because then I'll either buy it myself or like I'll look off that list when I'm at the bookstore. But there's mm -hmm. so many of them like Frieda McFadden books like I could own them. Well, like why am I going to buy them when I can read them for free on my Kindle. Like I pay for it. So I went through and I cleared out all those books and I made a wish list on Amazon so that I could just like go to them and then download them and read them. But nice. That's smart. I know. I'm like, I really need to be better at reading it or using it. I just finished the Martian and it's a five read for me. Good. That's nice. I Who's the author of that one? Andy Weir. Andy Weir. Yeah, Andy Weir. Earlier. I still need um, to read that one. I've owned it since 2016 or something, whenever it was like really popular. And I've yeah. meant to read it because I know I'm going to love it. And I just keep putting it off. I don't know why. I think we're in mm -mm. So I'm not spoiled for anything so far. So I need to just do it. What's the one by him that has the black and gold cover? Did he write Artemis? Project Hail Mary? I think Hail Mary. I think the Project Hail Mary is Because that one's really popular. I want to read that one. And then yeah. I did read Artemis, and I didn't like it very much. It was just fine. Yeah, Project Hail Mary is the one that I was thinking of. I successfully pulled out all my art supplies. <laughs> Yvette, have you been playing Dreamlight Valley? <laughs> She's the reason I picked it back up. <laughs> Not to lose my life. I go in like phases and I think everybody kind of is like this sometimes but like I will go months on not touching my um switch and then randomly mm -hmm. I'll get an itch and I'll play like Animal Crossing non-stop yeah and I'll fix up my island and then I'll like neglect it for another six months yeah it's been probably 100%. not that long since I've picked up Dreamlight Valley and they changed some stuff so I got back on and I also forgot where things were like I needed to collect things and I'm like 
I'm not stressing. It's fine. It's a game. This is supposed to be enjoyable and cozy. But I was like, I feel like I've never played this, but I've played this. It's just been a while. I vote the heiress. No. Somebody back me up with a good <laughs> No. <laughs> I gave the Martian five stars last year and just convinced my mom to read it. She loved it too. So good. I'll have to look into that one. Oh, Gordon Ramsay fan fiction by Jesse Stump. <laughs> I got to 20%. Nice, Danny. She's just as actually writing hot off the grill tonight. <laughs> I'll have an author signing next week. On the tour. <laughs> I used to have an irrational fear of Gordon Ramsay, so I did my own exposure theory, and now he's one of my favorite humans either. Oh my god. <laughs> I, like, don't watch TV or, like, keep up with, like, anything. And if I do, I put on, like, a baking show. Yeah. He was so scary. And then I watched um, the junior – what is the kids one that he no. does? And then I, I was crying every episode because he was so nice to the kids. So I was yeah. like – It's well, just the persona that he puts on, I think. Because I've heard yeah. a lot of people say that he's actually really nice. So he's so nice. I'm more of like a grocery shop sweep kind of girl. <laughs> Try it. Nails are painted and skin is looking bronzed. Love that for you. Yes. Just you are the piece of art. Make sure to post your face nails and tag Abby. For the mm -hmm. <laughs> I painted me. <laughs> Literally. Love it. Jesse does want to write a book, people. This may actually happen. Mm, true. Oh, somebody else cries every episode mm. of Mr. Chef Jr. Not just me. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, do you want to do one more longer sprint? We could do maybe like 45. Or you want to just do 50 and then we can come back and wrap it up. Um, I'd want to do like two more sprints, but... I'm tired. Even if I took a nap, I'm still sleepy. <laughs> yeah, and it's lighter for you too. So that's and that's valid. Too. So I say we do the long sprint. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it let's go good. to fifty, and then we'll come back and we'll wrap it up. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Cool.
Thank you. 
Want a worry-free way to kill bugs? Zevo, people-friendly, bug-deadly.
Are you able to hear me? Yes. Yeah. My other computer like overheated, so it like I was frozen for like a very long time. Oh, no. like, why is no one moving? <laughs> and I realized. Oh it. no! <sighs> I got you. Got to figure it out. Yeah, I know. I was like, I'll just grab my work computer. So now I'm like, now I'm flipped, and it's like not the best quality, but it's fine. How did everyone do? Um, I did good. 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 Yeah, read a little bit more, worked less on the puzzle and more on the reading this time. Yeah. But we are having some insane windstorms right now. Like the whole house was like shaking. Oh it's so loud. I'm like, Ugh. Yeah. oh my God, that's scary. That We had that not too long ago. Um, oh, there we go. Yeah, I wonder if I'm going to be able to sleep because it's so loud. Loud. Oh, see, I kind of like it when the weather is crazy because I feel like it's just like cozy glass, reading. But we have a sliding glass door in our bedroom. And no. so that thing just like, it just rattles oh. the whole time. So it's not so cozy. Yeah. Yeah, that's annoying. If I was in a room that like didn't do that, yeah, it would be good. Like, I don't mind the wind. I actually really like windy weather, but I don't yeah. like the noise that that sliding glass door makes. Yeah. <laughs> That would be a lot. How did you do, Summer? Good. I'm on, I think, like the third episode of Bridgerton. Still just having the best time. Um, this is <laughs> the progress that I've made on the cat illustration. Oh, my gosh. Uh, that is so it's, like, cute. not showing up good. 
it's like one of them is like kneading the dough one of them is mixing the dough and holding a whisk and then i like did google translate because i want to make it like a little french bakery yeah so it's called cafe des petites bebes because (laughs) that was like a really not good accent but we call our cats little babies like that's just like what we call them all the time and so i was like cafe of little babies so that's so cute. I don't know. I had a like a way that I wanted like the French version to like go, yeah. so I just made it. But anyway, <laughs> once I have it done, I'll post it on Instagram or something. Yeah, you'll have to do that. That's so you fun. Should, as you do. Um, I have like less than a hundred pages left, so mm-hmm. I'm just gonna probably after sprints continue playing Dreamlight Valley and finish up. I think the audio I have it on two times speed. I could listen faster if I was reading with my eyes, but. Yeah, um, I think I have like an hour and a half left. So good. Zoe, what about you? Um, did well. I asked Chat GPT what I should read, um, and it said the younger <laughs> sister or the what, the good <laughs> sister. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. So yeah, how far did you get? Um, not very far. I mean, I just. Just a little bit into it. The um, initial thing that she does with the bathroom is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely, yes, 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 yes. I, I'm liking the characters a lot. It's like yeah. three twin sisters. She is right literally there. my like, favorite book character. My car is named after her. Really? Oh, mm-hmm. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, just, I'm definitely enjoying it. So Yay. thank Keisha and chat GPT. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I got to, um, I don't know, chapter six. I'm only listening to it very slowly, though, because I have to, like, really understand what's happening, but I like it. It's good so far. Um, it's, like, dual timeline, so I think it'll be easier when I'm actually, like, reading it to kind of see what's happening and where they're at. Um, and then I, I'm still working on the background but it's oh, getting there really good. Um, it looks really good yeah it's it's actually i wish i i should go downstairs and get different paint brushes because the sizes that they send are like all so tiny mm. so like i'm yeah. trying to paint like the bigger space but i'm like this only goes so far mm. so yeah. but it's getting it's getting good it's kind of annoying though trying to go around like the white stars so i'll have to go back in and like fix that up yeah you get a snack yeah um (laughs) i don't know where i left off i think right here 30 minutes left in my audio waterfall is close to finish too good good um for anybody who crafted or did anything, make sure you share it on Instagram. If you don't feel comfortable sharing it, at least like send it to me so I can see. Um, my Instagram handle is the same as YouTube. So at Gabbing About Books, there's an underscore, I think, at the very end of it. Because um, I'd like to see what everybody did. Audiobook tonight features the younger sister of the Orville and Wilbur Wright, a new real life character for me, switching to physical book as well called How to Solve Your Own Murder by Parent. Nice. I really want to read that. (laughs) Jessie finished her book. Ooh, what a wild bride. Yay. (laughs) Finished my book and painting. Book was good. Painting was okay. Posted on Instagram and tagged you. I'll have to check. I wasn't on my my phone at a certain time at night. Like, even while reading that, it comes up and it's like bedtime reminder and it goes like dun 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 like a lullaby almost and then it turns off all my notifications because i hate when i'm trying to sleep and my phone's like ding ding i'm like drives me crazy we have had rain all week thank you for the sprints i'm tired i will read until i fall asleep good night katie thanks for joining um yeah we had rain past two days i think it literally i jinxed myself because i was on spring break i'm like it's gonna be crappy weather the whole time because i'm home and it was we only had nice weather one day i'm like come on drew some lilacs gotta paint them in book is good too good glad you're liking it joining late but wanted to say hi not crafting tonight but going to finish the perfect sun by frida mcfadden glad you're reading that Faith, let me know what you think of it. Um, That was our last sprint because 
I'm tired, but I'm probably going to stay up and at least finish the background on the top so that can dry. And then I'll work on the bottom this weekend. Um, but remember to tag me in your pictures if you did any crafting. Thank you, ladies, for joining me. Yeah, weekend. I love this. I want you to do it yeah. more. Yeah. yeah. Well, mm -hmm. a while Same. ago, well, I guess whenever, before I asked you, so that was maybe like a month ago or so, I was sitting and I was listening to my audio book. I don't remember what I was reading and I was coloring and I was like, this is so relaxing. Like I was just coloring, mindlessly coloring, <laughs> all listening to my audio book. And I was like, this would be fun version of like reading sprints, like being able yeah. to craft, but like also being able to still kind of read. And even if it wasn't an audio book, like I listen to a podcast while coloring sometimes, like it's just mm -hmm. nice to like, listen to something you want to listen to mm -hmm. yeah. um, just started a quarter silver flames audio and physical together thanks for the sprints oh you'll have to let me so know how you, like, how you like that one i feel like everybody has different opinions on that but is that your favorite I summer yeah i think so even more than akamath at this point even <laughs> though i love akamath so much silver mm -hmm. flames love it it is really good I want to go back and reread that series. I read it, I think, two years ago now, and I, like, I just want to reread it. Mm -hmm. I'm not one to reread books, but I want to reread that series. It's good. It holds up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks I for agree. Friends. You're welcome. Thanks for joining. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Thank you everyone for joining. We will definitely do this again. Maybe I'll make it like a monthly thing where we just kind of get together. I'll have different people on. We do different things. I was going to knit tonight, um, but I couldn't figure out what to knit. So I ended up just grabbing this and I'm glad because this is turning out really cute. But thank you everyone and I will see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.